If, like this author, most of your time in the Midwest is spent in Michigan, you might come to think that the Buckeyes are a beastly, cultureless people, their native Ohio a fetid hellscape. After all, they managed to set a river on fire a few times, and that takes a measure of doing. Michiganders, basically, are a sound bunch. But as my only memorable experience with Ohio had been the actual fetid hellscape of the state's turnpike, I thought it best to explore the place for myself. The order of the day was a museum to museum run from the edge of Lake Erie down to the flats of Dayton. The museums in question? The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and the National Museum of the U.S. Air Force. The Hall of Fame opens at 10 a.m., the Air Force Museum closes at 5 p.m. Just over 200 miles separate them. If I were to see both, and do so in proper style, I'd need a steed to fit the mission. Something fast, glamorous, and a little preposterous, preferably with some semblance of aviation history. The Mercedes-AMG S65 Cabriolet fit the bill nicely, a four-place convertible with a V12 and a quarter million dollar price tag. Rock and Roll Never Forgets The Rock Hall, mostly, is a monument to its own desperate desire for importance. Sure, Cleveland's Alan Freed was the first big DJ to spin rock and roll records, but Ohio's best rock and roll came from the margins.